Welcome back to TG TV and more specifically welcome back to London and the BMW M5 ladies and gentlemen the BMW M5 here. is here yep you're in mate you're in we're doing a video yay <laughs> okay so we are back with the BMW M5 I realize a lot of you will have watched me collect it but I have done no content with this thing so far I very much enjoyed my time with this BMW M5 and I promised you some content with it so here we go here it is here it is it's still in one piece as well quite surprisingly but first things off the bat I want to know your opinion mate. it's it's a nice car it's not as nice as your t-shirt though mate it's a good one it is a good one. Oh boy it's a good one. you're spinning around on purpose so we can see the back there stop doing that <laughs> okay so the BMW M5 then Impressions? You've I just like been it. out on it? I like it. I think it's really impressive. I think it's a nice car. I Do you? Would you buy one? Would you put it in the same bracket as an RS6 at this point, wouldn't you? You probably would. You probably would. What would you rather have? That or an RS6? Do you want me to be honest? Oh, I don't know. Do RS6. I? RS6. Oh, would you? Really? I think the RS6 is looking a bit long in the tooth compared to have this. Have I said the wrong thing? Oh. Have I said the wrong thing? Is I don't know, mate. There's no right or wrong. Are you being paid for this video? I get paid for every video. Not by BMW though. Uh, what are you saying, boy? Depends. If you put the price yeah, yeah, yeah. into it, RS6 is a little bit more dated, so I think probably. Okay. Um, probably M5, just because it's a lot more modern than size. Do you not think? RS6 does feel a little bit dated. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, what we're talking about, because there's a new RS6 coming out at the end of the year. Moves. Yeah, there is, isn't there? Yeah. Okay, so I would have one of these over an RS6 as it stands, but wait and see what the new RS6 brings, because I think Audi are going to bring some serious aggression to the party. Do we not think? Yeah. They, they've lost interest. Oh. They've lost interest. I mean, if they're, if they're not interested in listening, no, I don't know how you at home are going to still be watching this. Listening. Okay, let's just do a little quick spec tour of the car then. Obviously, it's white. There's a bit of a metallic flex to it. It's got the black wheels. It does not have the ceramics, however. Although, I don't think you really need ceramics on a Grand Tour or a road car. Absolutely not. It's got the chrome detailing all around. Uh, black around the window trim, though. It's a bit of an obscure spec, I'll be honest. We've got some black around there as well. And we've got little cameras around everywhere. Uh, and personally, if I had this car, I would change all this chrome stuff to black to match the black wheels. Um, but this is kind of uh, some sort of demo vibe. We've got the BMW Adaptive LEDs, which I believe are now standard on the M5s. Coming around the front here. You would only know that this was an M5 by the fact there are no fog lights in there. That is the quickest way to tell this is not a diesel. But other than that, you probably wouldn't really know apart from the bonnet bulge and the, you know the M5. What? How did you just know that fact about the fog lights? I know these things, mate. I do actually know about cars. No, I don't. I know you don't. So anyway, yeah, it does look very, very standard from the outside. Apart from the little side fence there, the little badge there, and lack of fog lights and a slight bulge there, and the wheels, there's actually quite a lot. And it's a slightly wider arch uh, kit there. But off the bat, it's very, very difficult to tell whether it's an M5. And that's part of the M5's appeal, I think. I think why people like them is the fact that they're not shouty, they're not aggressive, they're not, look at me, I've got loads of brake horsepower, I'll race you, like some, some cars are. Um, the inside here is a marked improvement over and above BMWs of old. We've got this new M Sport steering wheel, and we've got these very cool uh, M buttons here with the different driving modes on them. We've got a full digital dash, which we'll see in a second. And we've got these quite cool uh, illuminated M5 badges in there just to alert the passengers to exactly what they're sat in and how much trouble they really are in. Overall, though, do, do excuse the, uh, the mess we've been using this. Um, very nice quality, though. Everything, everything sort of works as it should. Got your USBs and all that kind of garb in there. Yeah. And you've got some LED illuminating things there, and very importantly here, emoji fish. I don't know at this point, by the time the video goes out, whether England is still in the World Cup. Um, but if you haven't got your emoji fresh yet, support the lads, the lads, the lads. Okay, and one thing I would say is very, very, very comfortable just to waft around in. In comfort, it's like you're just driving a standard 5 Series. In the back here then... Lots of room in here, as you'd expect. I mean, we have got the seats right back, but there's lots and lots of room, lots of headroom. There is no sunroof, and there's a very good reason for that. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it has a carbon roof. 
exactly what you need in a Grand Tourer, a carbon roof to save weight. But it's a very, very nice option anyway. It looks very cool. And personally, I would have it over and above the sunroof. Coming around then, let's, let's do some practicality stuff. Oh, that's embarrassing, what's in there? Uh, the boot is massive, absolutely massive. Archie, you got in that a few minutes ago, didn't you? I did, mate, yeah. You've done a very good review of this car on your channel, haven't you, mate? Yeah, 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 very good. And the other thing as well, the other way you could tell that this was an M5, obviously, is your two exhausts on either side. That is very kind of a trademark M5. Uh, and you've got the new, obviously, LED rear lights, which are quite cool. And the boot closes on the bottom, which is also very important. For just when you're, you're so busy, you don't have time to close the boot Bye, properly. Mate. Well, you, mate, you are an exceptionally busy guy. Very, very busy. Yeah, I've told them about that. Did you know my A45? I had a fake carbon roof. Yeah, you had a fake carbon roof in your A45. Not fake, but I got a carbon roof on it. Okay. You just what? You just wrapped it in carbon? No. I bought it. I bought a carbon roof for the car. Why was that one video? That was a video, I think. You bought a carbon roof for your A45? Yeah. Why'd you do that? Uh, just, uh. Yeah. It's YouTube, isn't it? Okay, enough of my chat. Let's go for a little spin. Jay, do you want to take me for a drive? Yeah, chauffeur Jay. My chauffeur for the day. Come on then. I will see what it's like to be driven in the new BMW M5. Oh, you gypsum. What do you want, mate? These little details, lad, on the seatbelt, lad. Oh, yeah, lovely little seatbelt gear. That, That's lad. a very good point. Thank you, sir. You got the key, and it, in the back here, yeah, I've got the keys in my oh, pocket. It should just pavement. start. I do this. Oh, yeah. So you there, the you, don't, on the pavement. you don't have to. I'll leave that open. Peasants can't see you in here. I'll go over this side actually, it's more sensible. Lad, put the blinds up, lad, if you want it, lad. So, back here then, we have aircon control in the back. He's over there, he can't even see me. We're gonna show for TGE round. Right. He wants to see what it's like to be driven behind the mesh net. Yeah. Oh, hello there, mate. Oh, mesh in hell. Still can't see him. Nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Please go away, the mesh is up there for a reason. Mesh is chaos. Yeah, mesh is mayhem. Are you hopping in for the chauffeur ride? Archie, oh, for mesh thing. crying out loud. I'm coming in this way. Oh, I think he's getting in. He should, he should film some exhaust hose, lad. How annoying. Oh, welcome, welcome. The hero's arrived. We, we off, lads? Yeah, go on then, laddie. Just checking my blinds. No, spot, no, lads. no. Bad, wait. Wait, 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 mate. Another one. Mate. Another one. There's a Belt up, mate. <laughs> I cannot believe you will not belt up. <laughs> Put your belt up, his mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've established the seatbelt situation sorted. Can we hang please on, proceed? Hang on, I need to delete a bit. I need to just delete a few clips and then I can, uh, I can churn once more. Oh, meathead. Oh, meathead. That is ridiculous on the back of your head, though. What is? Mac 3, my lad. That is. Horrendous. Where can I proceed, lads? Yep, go for it, mate. Archie. I've, I've got on, eyes wait. on. Wait. Two secs. <laughs> Mate. This is nice. Yeah, I wasn't Mate. zooming in on that. Lovely stuff. Can we go, please? Please proceed, spaghetti. Go. Tally, Pause. tally. Drive. Polonaise. Push we'll pull. have pull. three laps of Belgrade Square, please. <laughs> three laps, and then uh, we're, that is a video, my friend. Is the exhaust button on? Please put the exhaust, exhaust button on, on. now, mate. Mate, it's really luxurious back here, to be fair. It's lovely. Yeah, it's he nice. Even though you can see bucket seats in front of you. Ah! Oh! Mert! He's chaos. Stick to the speed limit, please. Me! I'm doing 28, Mert! <laughs> How is it in there, Jay? You alright, mate? It's quite quiet, actually. It's quite muted, lad. I'm yeah. driving sensibly at 27, though, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you might can... need more higher rest. Another two laps of this video will not get published. It's okay, we'll have that. Ooh. Then it makes a noise. Oh, I saw the police there, lad. Yeah, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll get you there. There oh. is a bit of noise, but I think you need to be outside. Yeah. Yeah, no, there is a bit of noise. Not, but it, don't forget, it's a saloon car. It's not supposed to be a supercar, is it? Like, no, that's true. I know, but you can, still make, you can still make them loud. That's but it offends excuse. other people. Just that's no you. excuse, mate. Okay, I'm driving civilised now. Okay, yeah, you drive nice and slowly. Please, put it, please, please put it into comfort and please, uh, please go nice and easy, please. Oh, yeah, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm gonna hop out now. You Cheers, mate. Yeah, I got the doors myself. I shouldn't have to, but I've done it. I've done it myself that time. Don't let it happen again. Thank you. As you were, spaghetti. Come on, then. Easy as car coming. Give it some onions, lad. Onions is that a term? Actually, sounds good. 
sounds decent. Actually sounds good. Yep. M2, yeah. M3. Yeah. Very nice, we Very like that. Nice. He's been pulled over. He's been pulled over, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Is he being arrested? What's happening? What happened, mate? He's flapping. He's flapping. He's flapping. I'm gonna get this camera right in his face. Is he flapping? Oh my word. What's happened? I don't know. I'm worried. What happened, lad? You alright, fella? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. What did he say? He said, do you want not to use it as a racetrack? I said I was doing 28. I was just making the exhaust make a loud noise. They're YouTubers, don't you know? Yeah, I hope you weren't rude. You wouldn't I have was, been rude. I was replied, politeful. I said, point taken. Polite. Polite. That was that. That That's why I was let off. Oh, I was polite. Off yeah, okay, good. We respect the police. Yep, yeah, there we go. We respect them. Doing a job. Good lad. Okay, so we're on the way back now. JE, would you have one of these, mate? I don't know. Do you really have a need? I know that's really unhelpful for you. Yep. I don't think you've got a need for a car like this, though, do you? Not really, no. But I think what I'm going to show on your channel, I prefer more with two wheels. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, no, maybe no, don't drive it like that. You're Undertaking. Your, you're into your bikes. I'm into my bikes, yeah. yeah Are you stuck. excited for your RS4, Archie? I am excited for my RS4. Are you excited for you, you probably would have collected it by the time this video goes out. No, I would not. Well, you don't know how long I'm going to store this one up, mate. Oh, yeah, that's true. But no, I, do you want my opinion on the car? Yes, so go on then. If, if that's worth any relevance to anyone. No. Um, no? No, get it out anyway, it takes time up. Go I on, like go. it. I do like it, I think it's really cool. Um, it's very, very upgraded in terms of like the M2, isn't it? It's come the a interior. long way, yeah. It's yes. come a long way, because obviously it is double the price. I know people are going to say that, but let's take double the price of the actual car. Let's just talk about the interior, which is, you know, this is all like new stuff, so I like Look that. Look at it. Yep. Um, so that's good. Are you and, going anywhere with this? And, uh, I'm just going to start yeah. filming birds out the window. Yeah, life is Sorry, good. birds then. Life let's good. look for birds. Life is good. Oh, any birds? Sugar-free red bulls. I didn't really like the orange one. Anyway, anyway that's my opinion, but I'd probably have an RS6. I got distracted. I'd probably have an RS6. I'm Tom. just I'm just filming birds now. Tom, I'd rather have an RS6. Shut up. So anyhow, I'm now back at my flat. That is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed a very insightful look into the new BMW M5. And a big shout out to BMW Park Lane who uh, sorted the whole thing out. So check them out and a big, big thanks. Cheers, guys. Bye.